Oh, hey, Randy. I'm just looking around to see if I have any big figs. As you know, I'm not a fan of Harry Potter, so I don't think I have a Hag Hagrid? Hagrid? Hagrid. So what's a Hedwig? But I did manage to find an assortment of odd and unusual figs, but are they big figs or something else entirely? Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure I don't have a Hulk. I don't have very many superhero Legos in general. I did think that I had a Hulk buster, but I might be getting that confused with the uh, Lego video game. So this might be the closest thing that comes to a big fig. Does it count? It's a Jabba the Hutt, and he does come in two pieces. He has movable little arms, and they can hold standard minifigure tools. But if arms are what you're looking for, then this probably doesn't count. He's a Minecraft creeper, and his head comes off. And it can hold a standard minifigure head. But the rest of them isn't very minifigure-y. What about Ursula the Sea Witch? She's bigger than most. Her legs are really just a special octopus fat suit. Any standard Lego minifig torso can fit inside. But what about skeletons and their cousins, the battle droids? Definitely not big figs since they're pretty much the same size as a normal minifigure. But they are noticeably different, so what are they? The battle droids have a special little headpiece, but skeletons fit a regular minifig head. Next up, Scooby-Doo. He's probably a unique case here, but maybe he's a dog fig or something. His head comes off, but a Scoob head doesn't fit on a standard minifig. But this is a really creepy and disturbing discovery. They do fit on Friends dolls. I think this will give you nightmares. What about droids? They're sort of minifigure-like, or at least a figure of some sort. R2 has little movable legs, but that's really about it. And there's this guy, a golem. His arms are similar to battle droids or skeletons, but the rest of him is pretty much a unique figure. Except this little hunchback thing. And I do have a Duplo fig. They're quite a bit bigger than a typical Lego minifigure, but they're pretty similar in the layout. I don't think they come apart though. And what about these? Angry figs? And a pig fig. These guys just have movable arms and their hands can hold standard minifig tools. But the rest of the body is a unique shape and I'm not sure if their arms come off. I, I don't want to risk it. We have a baby, but if anything, I guess it would be a small fig. Or maybe even a tiny fig. There's no movable pieces here other than the head. Which does come off. And yes, it fits on a Scooby-Doo body. And I don't have anything to say about that. And I think that's all I could find, unless this guy counts. I don't really know. He comes in pieces, and they're all movable. But I guess figs are supposed to be somewhat humanoid. Maybe these fellas and his predecessors are creature figs or something. And I think that's all the non-standard figs I could find. Small figs, big figs, I, I don't really know what they are. I'll probably just call them weird figs, because they're pretty weird. See you soon. Be sure to check out our Patreon in the description. We've got some cool rewards, including our minifigure club, where you can get a random minifigure each month. So if you like the channel, please consider supporting us.